Who passed, he comes to reclaim what is his. And then there's an evil biker werewolf who we f Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to Werewolf Week, which is unfortunately the final day of this week. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, today I am reviewing the film Wolves. Uh, this is a Canadian action horror fantasy film um, ri written and directed by David Hype. Uh, hater. And stars Lucas Till, Jason Momoa, yeah, that Jason Momoa, Aquaman, uh, Marita Patterson, uh, John Prayer, Praper Ferguson, uh, if I'm pronouncing that name right, Stephen McCatty, um, Kathleen Leeds, and Jennifer Hale. Uh, so this is a, I've already told you the subgenre. So in this, uh, a teenager named um named said uh named Caden um you know is an average teenager till approaching puberty he notices he has these lycanthropy conditions where he can transform into this werewolf and discovers that he's adopted and yeah he's not fully human so he goes on this journey of self-discovery till he finds this small remote town where this local farmer takes him in and he then discovers his past and that Jason Momoa's character is in fact his father and his mother was, you know, killed herself when she gave him up for adoption to keep him safe. And anyway, he comes back and once he finds out his true past he comes to reclaim what is his and then there's an evil biker werewolf who we find actually killed his adopted family and was all out to bring his inner beast out. Uh, so, and along the way we see action and gore and werewolves. So let's get right to my dis likes and dislikes. So first of all, the likes. I like this one. It was like Teen Wolf, the series. Uh, and there was no comedy in there, but I think the werewolves look better. The werewolves had the big pointed ears, the big fairy faces, and the wolf-like features in their face. But they remained aware of who they were. So they didn't go full wild animal. They still knew who they were when they were in wolf form. Uh, and also, I like the werewolves, and they had the hairy bodies and everything. I, I like that too. Um, you know, like I say, to me, in a werewolf, I like either the big, full, muscular, hairy body and the big wolf head or the big hairy muscular body and the wolf-like features in the face. To me that is what a werewolf should look like. And these werewolves could transform at will. Uh, you know, but 
that didn't bother me. I just thought, okay, you know, I mean, in some stories, vampires can walk in daylight, so you know, I, I don't mind this small change because the werewolves were just awesome in it. Jason Momoa was just brilliant in this, playing the badass werewolf that he were, and he looked great as an alpha wolf. I could, I really, you know, I really liked his character in this, and I just loved this whole. You know, film. It was surprisingly well done for an indie film. You know, I mean, you know, werewolf movies. I find werewolves are very underappreciated supernatural creatures in horror. But when they're done right, they are done right, and I just love that. I just loved all this film. You know, I mean, it was 90 minutes long, and it was very fast-paced. You know, it didn't mess about you know, slow building to anything. They just got pumping right away, and I love that. I love that in a werewolf movie. And, yeah, I just love the action, and I love the gore. Any dislikes? Well, I guess there were a couple bits in the first act which were a bit slow and boring, like him making the journey to the town and him trying to find a place to stay. But, like I say, once it got going, it definitely got going, and that I just loved. Uh, and... Yeah, I, I watched this very recently as well, and I was I just watched it to do this review, and I saw this on Horror Channel, never quite got the chance to see it on there, but I did, however, find it on Amazon Prime, and I watched it, and I loved it. So I thought, yeah, uh, well, good 90 minutes well spent. I mean, the first 20 minutes, but other than that, it was a, you know, a great werewolf movie, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. So, my ratings, I'm going to give Wolves a, I'm giving it four, four full moons out of five for this one. So, I really like this one. But like I say, little bits in there around the beginning which were slow, but like I say, great film and I can't recommend it enough. So, um, yeah, we've all, so I've already given you my ratings, so yeah, that's it for Werewolf Week, so... It's been a good week, and we sailed through it, uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Uh, oh yeah, have you seen this film? Let me know down in the comments below if you have. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. Um, so yeah, that's it for Werewolf Week. You can watch all of Werewolf Week linked at the end of this video or on my channel. Um, and yeah. I hope you liked it, so there we go. Um, so I'm going to leave you now with a preview of Vampire Weekend. Yes, Vampire Weekend is returning this week, well, next weekend for the Bank Holiday Weekend. The last Bank Holiday Weekend of the year, so I thought this is my last shot to do it. So I thought, yeah, Vampire Weekend for the final weekend of August. So I'm going to leave you now with a little taster of that. So, yeah, um, so until next time, don't have nightmares. I like my horror, and like my horror tube sister says, Queenie Todd, howl like the moon for me. Ow! Hang on, I can do better than that. Ow! Sorry, it's not a full moon, I can't get my full inner beast though. But anyway, yeah. The, uh, take it away, Barnabas.
about me, Lucifer. My soul is prepared. 